Hey everybody, just wanted to bring you a few interesting guns here from Colt. Uh, these are from the 30s and 40s. Um, just wanted to show you these to you. They're part of the collection and I uh, haven't seen too many videos on them uh, in the condition that these are in. So I'll start from the bottom. This is a uh, Colt hammerless. I believe it's a 1903 version. You can see here the patent dates 1903. Hartford, Connecticut. Just show a little close up here. It's in 380 auto. And it's basically in perfect condition. Um, they're all unloaded, but I'll just show you here. So if you can see here, the sights on this are <laughs> they're pretty small. Um, I'm pretty sure that the FBI uh, and the mid probably mid to late forties uh, carried these a lot as backup guns uh... the lever here functions as a safety and also as the slide stop and again this is in 380 auto it's in basically perfect condition everything's smooth on it there's no checkering no checkering on the on the trigger either it's a fun gun to shoot. Uh, the weight, it's really not that heavy even though it's all steel. Um, it's also got the grip safety uh, 1911 style back here. It fits real well. If you can see, you know, your hand rides up like up right here and a lot of the gun is above your hand obviously and, and it's uh, it's got a really, the grip goes in pretty deep at an angle here. So whenever you grip it, it almost feels uh, pretty natural, almost like you're pointing just a neat little gun and again this one's in pretty much perfect condition haven't fired it a whole lot probably the last time was uh, I don't know probably mid 90's that's a fun one and then above it we have another classic this is the police positive this one's in actually 38 Smith & Wesson let me see if I can get a good close up here it says Colt Police Positive 38. I don't know the top of the barrel is the Colt's manufacturing dates, patent dates. I don't think there's too many markings, if any, on the other side. Actually, there aren't any. This one, again, is in perfect condition. Um, the only thing that's checkered, everything else is smooth, the grips. Uh, the trigger is checkered. Again, this one's unloaded. I don't have any 38 Smith & Wesson, so... Again, this one's in perfect condition. Um, I don't think there's any flaws on it. I like the checkering on the on the trigger here. It's actually nicely done. And it's double action, as uh, police positives were. You can fire it single action, pull the hammer back, and, and fire it, or double action. And this thing locks up. I mean, <laughs> it's tight. It's basically in perfect condition. Uh, there's the sight picture. Right there, it's again, it's a it's a tiny sight. Some of these 30s and 40s guns were uh, the sight pictures weren't exactly the the biggest in history. Um, you have the firing pin on the hammer, so you have to be careful. Um, it's not like a single action army or anything. If you watch here, between the cylinder and the the frame, when I pull the trigger and the hammer goes down, when I'm holding on the trigger, you can see the firing pin come through. But as soon as I let off that trigger, hammer goes back. So. You could carry this with all six shots um, pretty safely. It's not like a single action army where the once the hammer's down it's resting right on the firing pin. But this one again is basically in perfect condition. Um, shot it a bunch in the mid 90's and then just you know put it in the vault. It's a fun gun to shoot though. It, it feels really good. Um, again it's just like the hammerless, the 1903 down there. Uh, it feels like you're pointing whenever you're holding on to it. And, you know, I feel bad for the police officers or whoever carried this as a pack-up because, as you know, 38 Smith & Wesson, uh, not the most powerful handgun round ever, ever created. Less powerful than a 38 Special. But still, just a neat little gun to shoot, too. Just because it feels so good in the hand whenever you hold on to it. And then finally, kind of a, a it's a little more rare than 
the uh, regular police positive. This here is a police positive target 22. Let's see if I can get that in here. Colt police positive target caliber 22. So this has uh, a blade front sight. It's pretty high and it's got adjustable right here rear sights. And it's in 22 long rifle. Six rounds, six shots. This comes with a uh, checkered back strap which is really nice. I don't think it's checkered under here in, in a checkered trigger. And this is just the same. It's double action or single action if you pull the hammer back. And here you can see on this hammer it's meant for rim fire so uh, it's up a bit a bit higher to hit the rim of the 22 cartridge. And it's double action as well. I'm not going to dry fire it but again this locks up absolutely perfect. I mean there is no play in that cylinder. I cannot move it at all. Totally reliable. There's the sight picture. Right there if you can see it. Again it's a s small sight picture but the target model is actually a little bit better than the regular police positives. It's because you have a larger ramp rear sight. And this one again is perfect condition. I mean there's nothing wrong with it. There's the markings on the top of the barrel if it will actually focus and it may not probably can't even read that but these grips are actually pretty nice too now that I look at them a little closer they're all wood grips and I like that checkering on the back strap it's really well done and again the adjustable rear sight I don't know what you could do with the front leaf sight it looks like you may be able to drift it or file it down if you ever wanted to. I would obviously never do that but again these these are in perfect condition uh, basically like they left factory. I just love this because it's the police positive but it's in 22 caliber so you can plink all day long cans, soda cans, anything you want to shoot at and it's just a fun old-timey gun. So I just thought I'd bring these to you take a look at the some of the classic Colt guns from the 30s and 40s. I'm sure some, a lot of these made it into the 50s as well, but pretty sure the models that I have here are probably in the 30s and 40s. I'm just guessing. I haven't looked up serial numbers yet, but they're just fun to shoot. And fun to have as well. So there you go. Three classic Colt firearms in the 30s and 40s. Love the police positive. Have to find one in 38 Special or a different caliber other than 38 Smith and Wesson because 38 Smith and Wesson is <laughs> not easy to find, and when you do find it, uh, it's not cheap. So I don't shoot this one very much. Just a cool old revolver, and obviously 380 you can find almost anywhere. So this you could shoot all, all day long. There you go. Thanks for taking a look.